So, making a little bit of progress on the chassis that I'm going to be using in the mace window. Got the recharge port wired up, wires, and 8 ohm speaker there. Got a little bit of E6000 that I got to clean off that little spot there. It came from my my finger whenever I was setting the thing in there, so I'll just clean that up. That comes off pretty easy later on. Now, did some then basically something very similar to what I did on the last mace window is I took the wires and fed them to the sides and then bonded them to the corners with the E6000. So I got the negative and positive from the battery right here and then negative and positive for the speaker right there and the real nice thing is like on the same wiring setup that i had for the profi on here works the same with the cfx so so with the cfx i got a pretty basic wiring setup for this one so i'm going to be running the positive down here negative there the two speaker wires there the ground for the switches right there using one two three all four of the led drivers the data line right there the auxiliary and primary switch and that is basically all i'm going to be using on the crystal focus here so i could run rice on here i could run bluetooth i do have some fizzycom bluetooth modules but really for the setup is not going to be super complicated so the way the cfx is sitting right in here is basically the same way it's going to be sitting right on here so i made a little progress on the mace window hilt here i drilled out the two holes for the switches to sit in i, I know they're not perfectly aligned but they just have to fit with an alignment underneath the actual switch itself so I end up peeling back this cover right here and then revealed where the hidden screw is which is right here I drilled a hole in this plastic piece of the chassis which you see right there where I drilled the holes in and then put in a 632nd set screw so I drilled a hole tapped it and threaded that in there drilled out these holes I did did try, put some bonding around this to make sure that this doesn't rotate or anything and then I got the TCSS blade holder with their their NeoPixel PCB in here here's where the set screw for the blade retention screw is so once this is bonded down, I'll be lining these up, wiring both of these switches. These are really short tactile switches, fit perfectly in these holes with a little bit of space on them. I will have to go and kind of grind this down inside here a little bit before I apply the captain tape. And then once I got the switches wired up, and then I'm going to drill out a hole for the wires to feed down through the chassis all the way down to the bottom. And then I'll bond the cap to the top of the switches. And once, once this part, part's complete, then I'll finish up the soldering job with the CFX. Gotten this bonded down pretty good. It's been, been glued in place for pretty much a whole day. So now I'm going to try to go dead center in between the two switch openings. Turn this feed and I'm going to take it slow just so that this doesn't travel. you got to hold it perfectly upright to get the opening right and then I will kind of work my way to the side a little bit to kind of widen the hole both ways. So it's a nice large opening right there as far as for the wires to go through. I'll probably widen it a little bit more just to make it make it so nothing catches. 
which I could always do with the exacto. Just go down across this edge right here, kind of square it up. But right there, I got a nice little square hole to put my wiring through. So let's see how much more I have to twist this. Move that out of the way. All right. So right here, I'm going to give this a little more of a twist for the wiring because I know I'm going to have a lot of wire to feed through, so I'm going to start feeding it downward. All right, so now I got the switches right there. Okay, and then I don't have any connections, bridging, or anything. I'm gonna work on my wiring so they don't touch. Kind of working on the way they bend. So primary, secondary. So my next step is going to be grinding down the cap. Okay, on the cap so that that's ready to go. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button. And if you like what you've been watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. To see our latest video, click on the link to the right. Thank you again. Later, later.